Mobile access to work for businesses is becoming more common as work locations and schedules are increasingly more flexible and on the go. You may want to allow your team members or employees to have a secure but convenient way of accessing internal network resources, such as data stored on your NAS, even when they are in a remote location. Synology VPN Plus provides the ideal virtual office solution that simplifies user experience while not compromising on network security. Let's take a look at how to set it up. Before starting with VPN Plus, you will need to have a registered domain and have created a wildcard DNS record on the DNS server. Here, I will make a demonstration with the Synology DNS server package running on the Synology NAS. After logging into DSM, launch the DNS server package. Select the already existing domain and click Edit, then Resource Record. In the pop-up window, you will create a subdomain. In this example, asterisk.sample.synology.com. Click Create, then select A type. Put asterisk.sample in the name field and then enter the IP address of the Synology router on which you want to set up VPN Plus. Don't forget to click OK and then Finish when you are done setting it up. And now, let's move on to setting up VPN Plus server on your Synology router. After you log into your Synology router, go to Package Center to download and install VPN Plus server. When the installation is complete, you can find it in the main menu. Launch VPN Plus server and then go to Synology VPN page. Synology Web VPN provides a concise web portal for your team members or employees, as well as any permitted users, to access internal web based resources from the internet. Click on the Web VPN tab and enable Web VPN. You will need to put in a prefix that will be used for the user login address. In this example, we will put login. Then put the subdomain which has been specified on the DNS server. Remember to click Apply after setup is done. Now the URL for your WebVPN login will display on the user interface. You can click on it to see if it works. You may see a privacy warning message in your browser. This is caused by the lack of a valid certificate. Your company will need to buy a wildcard certificate from a third-party issuer for the domain used by VPN Plus. After you have obtained one, click the link below to import your certificate. You will need to restart your browser for it to take effect. Now you can click on the URL again to go to the login page. Now suppose a team member, Jason, is currently in a nice cozy cafe, but he needs to access the company's internal network to book a meeting room. He can just log into the VPN Plus web portal with his credentials and then put in the internal URL to connect to it. Now you may want to define which portals connected users may access. Go to the Web VPN Portals tab to add them. Put in the name and address you wish to use for this portal and determine who has the permission to access it. If you wanted to show up on the Web VPN Portal page by default for users to quickly access, tick Show in Default Portals. By doing so, you can make a centralized portal of access for all internal company websites. You can also customize portal aliases, such as Meeting Room Reservations. Now, when Jason logs into the VPN Plus web portal, he's able to quickly access the preset portal simply by clicking on the button. If an internal website wasn't previously defined, he can still put the URL, for example, c2check.synology.com, and then click Connect. Any visited websites will show under the History section for him to quickly access them again. You can also decide to favorite them or remove them. WebVPN is convenient, but you may also want to utilize non-web-based resources, such as files stored on the company NAS, which might be restricted to internal usage only. Let's take a look at how to set up Synology SSL VPN. Launch VPN Plus server again. Navigate to the Synology VPN page, and underneath the SSL VPN tab, check Enable Synology SSL VPN. You may adjust the security settings here based on your own preferences. Remember to apply settings when done. Your employees and team members can now access the VPN Plus web portal, where they will be greeted with a message to install the Synology SSL VPN client. This is a lightweight utility that does not need any configuration. Now when you log in, you can immediately connect to the VPN after authentication. Synology SSL VPN is also available on mobile devices. Just install the VPN Plus app and log in with your account. Synology VPN Plus server also supports various other VPN protocols, 
You can find them in the standard VPN page. For detailed steps on how to set up these VPNs, please refer to corresponding knowledge base articles. With Synology VPN Plus server, administrators can easily monitor and manage network traffic. The overview page shows the past two hours traffic. You can find out more details in the connection page. Here, you can view all connections in the past seven days under the History tab. By selecting a certain time period, connection records in that period will be shown. Any currently connected users are shown in the Online tab, where you can also disconnect them. In addition to manually policing all connections, you can also set up speed limits on certain users and groups. You may also block certain addresses from being accessed. Well, that wraps up how to set up VPN+. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you understand how to better provide your employees or team members with a convenient and secure way of accessing internal network resources. VPN Plus is now available on Synology networking products. You can find out more information about them below. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.